One of the popular steps of the Seder night is called Yachatz, where we break the middle matzah. The smaller piece stays with us on the table, and the bigger piece we send away into hiding for later on in the Seder night when the children go out to try and find it. What is this all about? What does the breaking of the matzah represent? The smaller piece, the bigger piece, what do they all represent? One explanation is that the word matzot can be read as mitzvot, commandments, good actions, good deeds. And we have two types of mitzvot. One are those that are public and people know about them. And the other are those that are private between me and God and nobody else needs to know about them. The smaller piece of the matzah or the mitzvah represents those that are public. It's the smaller part of my actions that people know about. But the bigger piece are those mitzvot that remain between me and God. They're private and nobody else needs to know about them. And that's why this piece of matzah or mitzvah is hidden and private. It's a sign of humility, of privacy. Later on, we send our children out to go find it. You know why? Because although those actions are private to me and God, our children need to know about them. We are responsible to inspire them, to motivate them, to educate them. Surely they need to know about these deeds. And so we send them out to go find that peace and we say to them, although these actions are private and nobody else needs to know about them, you my child, I want you to know about them because I want you to learn from them and adapt those good deeds and those actions into your own lifestyle. That's the message of the Seder night and the educational process of parents and children. Wishing you and your families Chag Sameach.